And more couples will be saying, I do, this Valentine's Day. 243 couples will be tying the knot on February 14th, the highest in five years according to the Registry of Marriages. This may be because Valentine's Day will also be the 15th day of the Lunar New Year or Yuan Xiaojie. Chitra Benikuma speaks to one couple looking forward to their big day. For this couple, it was more than just a coincidence of having double happiness dates. Relatives from overseas will be heading to Singapore for both the wedding and the reunions over the Lunar New Year. And they have plenty more reasons for a celebration. For the two of us, actually, we will mark seven years, exactly seven years uh, since we first got together. And on top of that, it is also my Lunar birthday. Channel News Asia checked with five hotels and most said they have not seen a spike in bookings. As for added costs, the couple says it's marginal. I think we were very fortunate because we started our wedding planning very long ago. So we did not have to pay a lot more, but there were still items and uh, things that we had to pay more for because it is an auspicious date and also because it falls within the Chinese New Year festive period. Overall, I would say we pay about 10% or thereabouts. While the cost may not be hefty, the auspicious date poses other challenges. We are actually engaging a Buddhist a religious leader to be our solemnizer, but because it's the 15th day, 15th day of the lunar month, so at the temple she actually has like a Chinese New Year celebration. So in order to accommodate uh, to our request, we have to make like changes to our schedule so that she'll be able to be here to witness our wedding. The last time Valentine's Day coincided with the 15th day of the lunar New Year was in 1995 where a record 1,082 solemnizations took place. This year may not see the same numbers, but February 14 will still be a big day for love.